Yo everyone, Retro here. So today we're gonna have a look of my newest song, Little Victoria, which is just out now on my label, Time Machine. So here's a little preview for you. Every time you're next to me, it's like a little victory. Make sure to leave a comment on the video so I can know like what you like about the song and what you don't like. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. I think it must be over there. We're almost 2000 members on the Discord server. So make sure to join it by just clicking on the Discord by just clicking on the Discord. Make sure to join it by just clicking on the link in the description. It's just over there. When I received this vocal, I knew instantly I could make a song with it because it has a summerish vibe, even, it, even if it's not summer right now. but. Well, I started writing up chords and then I kept up with this drop melody and drop idea which is quite different from what I usually do. And today I want to show you how I made this, so let's have a closer look about this project. Alright, so let's start off with the break. So I actually wanted to set a, a kind of like emotional mood you know, from the start of the song. So that's why I, I put those instruments, which are really, really emotional, you know. So it starts really soft and then it goes like into the other section which is a little bit more expressive I will say. I love those strings. There's a there's a little arp. There's a little arp at the beginning which is just a a silent one, quite simple, with another, with a string, with a string assemble, and then a piano, which is the noir from Intim Instruments. Amazing. Also, you use the, the retro color plugin to make it a little bit more sounding like old stuff, you know, like without it, with it. For the lightning and the thunder, but I don't gotta wonder. I also added this guitar, which I actually made myself. Uh, I'm not a good guitar player, but well, I made this like like few months ago. It wasn't meant to be at this BPM, so it was originally at 150. But well, you can't he really hear the stretch in the background like this, so it's it should be okay. How it's supposed to be. Every time you like I love this part. It's, I think this is my favorite part of the song because it has a lot of drums in the background and also a lot of elements which makes it like a little bit more original. Then there's the guitar as well. I love the, the instruments here. A lot of contact as well, like some strings. Then there's a silent one. Another contact, which is just a mallet flux. And then this one, which is another mallet flux. But we can't really hear that one, I, I gotta be honest. <laughs> we can barely hear it because of the drums. But it's still here in the background. And the fun fact about this part is the guitar, it's really bad sounding. It's a real guitar. I mean, it's the plug-in real guitar. See, like some notes aren't even working. But as it's still in the background, it's still melted with like some other elements and some other things which are doing the same notes. You can't really hear it. it's like super bad sounding right now. So Next to me, it's like a little there's also a little bass, the same piano as the beginning. I also added this little melody, which is just a kalimba from the M1. And not much work on this one. Sometimes I just like to add another melody which goes with the vocal, with the vocal. For the vocal I use a manipulator using those chords which I made. So the vocal sounds a little bit fuller during the break. And then it goes into the drop. So the drop is basically my voice, which is quite funny because I'm gonna show you this. So this is literally my voice. And if I disable those effects, you, you will hear this is just my voice with some effects. So basically, if you if you turn up the, the overdrive and then a reverb after that, you will get a kind of pretty good sound which goes like that. 
I mean, it's quite different from what you usually hear with, um, with just having a scent on the drop. I like the way the drop is sounding pretty good without even the, the main lead and the main chords. Like if you just listen to the drums, I try to make it really wide, you know, like really wide and open. Those vocals are amazing. So when Sugun Brett goes into this, I love this little thing. I actually got that from the first, very first acapella I've got from this track. Uh, there was this little sound in the background, which was from the original demo he made uh, with, the, uh, with that vocal. So, and I heard that and I was like, yeah, I need to put it in my track as well. So I actually stole that from the original demo. But I love this. In your army, next to me. So I love the, those little loops. You can get like plenty of these loops on splice and stuff like that because it's amazing. Just makes more depth uh, into your track. Yeah, this is the ending part. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, do. Every time I wake once again, the vocal is amazing. And I added more elements here with some more background stuff like the those one. It's a xylophone. And it works well with the rest on the drop. I used it so much contact in that track uh, compared to my other tracks where I'm using a lot of synths. This time I tried to make it a little bit more organic sounding. I know I already said that to become organic, but well, organic stuff is always good. So yeah, make sure to become organic, all right? Do organic tracks. I can show you how I made the drop lead basically. Let me just open a new project so I can show you how I make the, the drop lead. All right, so I opened a new project and we're gonna say the same BPM. I think it was 105. And then I'm gonna start singing, so I need to sing the same melody. <laughs> and now I need to, do, to sing the same melody, so I'm gonna sing it. I think it should be good now. Now we need to put auto tune, so I need to find out the key. I actually forgot the key of my own track. Okay, it's in F. I liked when the sound is like already auto tuned, and then you just need to to modify the sound. So let's put F. It sounds a little bit better now. Let's add some EQing so we can cut off the bass and perhaps turn up the the high frequencies as well. Then we will need some overdrive. So let's add some overdrive. And then we need a reverb, which is super, super short. So let's make it super short and super small. And then what we need to do is just to put another reverb so we can make the sound a little bit bigger now. Perhaps some extra EQing as well. It's literally sound design, but on a voice instead. And then OTT, because OTT is the master. Let's, let me put... I need OTT, please. And there we go, you got the lead. Uh, what I did on the track is that I doubled the lead. So I took this lead, I put it on another track, I warped everything to Complex Pro, and then I went plus, plus 12 and then... Less louder. And there we go, we got the lead done, yeah. Anyways, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. There should be one video every week coming over. Make sure to hit the bell for those new videos. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, it was Retro. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>